continue the art lesson now. We want to talk a bit about gicle, which some people may know and some people may not. How would you describe uh, what gicle is, Shai? So gicle is essentially a French word for printing on canvas with ink. So it's generally an ink printer printing okay. on canvas. Um, we brought kind of three options here. So we spoke about different ways and to do it budgetary options for people who don't want to really spend money, let's say, on an original piece of art. And we spoke right. about heat transfer, gicle, gicle with hand embellishment. So this here is a heat transfer, and essentially heat transfer, all it is is taking a poster and actually transferring it onto the canvas. So unlike where you have a t-shirt, let's say for example, that you transfer the print and it comes out backwards, yeah. this is the actual paper on the canvas and then has a coating above. So it's not, you don't mm. get the paper back, it's used on the actual canvas. Okay. This is a really great inexpensive way to do it because it almost looks more like an original piece because it is on canvas. Right. You can do something that's called a gallery wrap, which means that the image wraps all the way around the side of the bars, or you can just tape it like this one's done here. Okay. That's okay. heat transfer. This, thank you. Okay, so this is a gicle. <laughs> this is a print of, uh, uh, of an image on canvas through an inkjet printer. So again, it looks very similar to a poster transfer. The yeah. color is a little richer. It is. The nice thing about a gicle is that you can manipulate the color. So in Photoshop, if you wanted to make the lake a little bluer or you wanted to make the trees a little greener, you can absolutely do that. That's an advantage that you have to gicle that you don't have to a heat transfer. Uh, okay, so you do that before you've actually transferred the image. You can play with color. Correct. Okay. And then the last one that we brought is a gicle with hand embellishment on it. Which so, is probably what most people would associate gicle, gicle with, with, right? Right. So all, what it what has a Canadian is, scene. Isn't it though? Yeah. I thought, well, I thought, you know what, it's really warm outside today. We've been complaining about these high volumes. Let's just do the opposite. Know, right? Cold winter's day. Cold winter's day. Keeps us cool. Um, so this is a gicle and then it has almost like an acrylic top coat over it which an artist will then or people in a gallery will just kind of hand brush stroke over it so it gives almost an oil painted look to it. Right. Um, you can't, I mean you can kind of see it on camera but when you feel it and you it's know. Quite you rough, it's quite rough isn't it? Yeah, you can, yeah, feel you the can actually though. feel the texture so it gives it that added dimension when people go up to it, it it looks like an oil painting. Again all inexpensive ways to do it without having to do an original piece. What does make this more less expensive than uh, than other forms of art. What is it about this technique? Well, about the transfer or about the gicle? So, Both. So an original is an original, it's one of a kind. So yeah. once you've done it, you've done it. We spoke about hand and signed um, prints, yeah. which are a limited number, and then they're hand and signed. So again, they are, uh, they are a little bit costly. This is taking a piece of paper and essentially just putting it under a heat press and pressing it onto. So that's really inexpensive. It's really the process that's inexpensive. Okay. What makes this a little bit more expensive is that you're using the ink in the printer. It does take time to manipulate the color in Photoshop or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then if you will have, let's say, like an artist or a gallery, uh, go over it and hand embellish it like like is done here. So that right. comes a little bit more costly. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Good option. So uh, you can put some of those up in your place in Scotland. Okay? Yeah. You yeah. do yeah. that. Yeah. Have yeah. a nice little Canadian Memoirs scene so you don't yeah. forget about us yeah. when you go over there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well,